Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on differences between synchronous sequential circuits and asynchronous sequential circuits. It is one of the most important uh, point. In the previous video, we are already discussed about uh, introduction to combinational circuits, introduction to sequential circuits, what are the differences between combinational circuits and sequential circuits that can be discussed in the previous video. Please refer that video. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what are the main differences between synchro synchronous sequential circuits and asynchronous sequential circuits. Okay. Before going to the differences, first of all, sequential circuits can be classified into two types based on the timing of signals. Based on the timing of their signals, sequential circuits can be classified into two types. One is synchronous sequential circuits. Second one is asynchronous sequential circuits. Okay, that means based on the or depending on the timing of their signals, sequential circuits can be classified into two types. First one is synchronous sequential circuits. Second one is asynchronous sequential circuits. Now, what are the main differences between them that we have discussed now? First point. Synchronous sequential circuits are controlled by clock only. That means the sequential circuits which are controlled by a clock is called as synchronous sequential circuits. That means clock is required as one of the input in synchronous sequential circuits. So, because of that reason, the sequential circuits which are controlled by a clock are called as synchronous sequential circuits. Next, whereas in the case of asynchronous sequential circuits, the sequential circuits which are not controlled by a clock is called as asynchronous sequential circuits. That means, in this case, the clock is not present but here the clock is required as one of the input in synchronous sequential circuits okay now second point a synchronous sequential circuits will be active only when the clock signal is present so whenever clock signal is active then the operation can be performed in synchronous sequential circuits. Because of that reason, these circuits will be active only when the clock signal is present. If the clock signal is not present, then any operation cannot be performed in synchronous sequential circuits. Whereas in the case of asynchronous sequential circuits, any operation or events can be performed whenever the inputs are applied. After applying the inputs, then the operations or events can be performed in asynchronous sequential circuits. So, there is no requirement of clock in asynchronous sequential circuits but here in this case of synchronous sequential circuit these circuits will be active only when the clock signal is present or active next third point in synchronous sequential circuits memory elements are clocked pit blocks okay so in the case of synchronous sequential circuits, clocked pip-locks can be act as a memory element. Next, whereas in the case of 
asynchronous sequential circuits uh, memory elements are either unclocked piplops or a time delay elements okay so time delay elements or are unclocked piplops can be act as memory elements in asynchronous sequential circuits next third fourth point Synchronous sequential circuits are very easier to design or simple to design. Whereas in the case of asynchronous sequential circuits, they are more difficult to design because clock is not present. Okay, only time delay elements are involved. Next one, fifth point. In synchronous sequential circuits, the speed of the operation can be limited by the time delays are involved. Okay, because here memory elements are involved in synchronous sequential circuits. In that memory element, fast history of the inputs, that is fast output, outputs are stored in memory elements. So, because of that reason, uh, speed of the operation is uh, limited by the time delays are involved. To retrieve the previous output or our fast history of input, it can take some time. So, because of that reason, speed of the operation is uh, limited by the time delays involved. But here, in this case, uh, speed of the operation is high. Okay. Next one. Sixth point. In synchronous sequential circuits, the change in input signals can affect the memory elements upon the activation of the clock signal. Okay. So, whenever the clock signal is active or are present, if any changes that can be done on the input, they can affect the memory element. Okay. Without activation of the clock signal, if any changes can be done on the input, that changes does not affect the memory elements. Okay. But in the case of asynchronous sequential circuits, the change in input signals can affect the memory elements at any instant of time. Okay, so there is no dependency of clock signal in the case of asynchronous sequential circuits because the clock is not present in asynchronous sequential circuits. So because of that reason, if any changes can be done on the input signal, they can affect the memory elements at any instant of time. But here the clock signal should be active whenever any changes that can be done, they can affect the memory elements upon the activation of clock signal. Next one, uh, what are the examples of synchronous sequential circuits? Clocked flip-flops are the examples of synchronous sequential circuits. What are the examples of asynchronous sequential circuits? unclocked flip-flops. Okay, next eighth point, uh, maximum operating speed, maximum operating speed of a clock depends on the time delays involved. Okay, so maximum operating speed of a clock depends on the time delays involved. Okay, so we are operating the uh, clock in a maximum speed that depends on the time delays involved at the memory element. Next one, here in this case, in the case of asynchronous sequential circuit, so clock is not present. Because of that reason, asynchronous sequential circuits are faster than uh, synchronous sequential circuits. So, these are the eight differences between a uh, last point, it is not there, I am, last point I am not mentioning here, okay, but I am telling maximum operating speed of a clock depends on the time delays involved. Here, eighth point, 
in the case of asynchronous sequential circuits clock is not present because of the reason asynchronous sequential circuits are faster than synchronous sequential circuit this is the eighth point so these are the eight differences between synchronous and asynchronous sequential circuits so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivasa rao divela srinivasa rao thank you